which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. So our work must be of Christ, the heart of faith. We are destined to do good works. If we trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Praise the Lord, somebody. The Bible make it plain that we are to walk in the Lord, in the light of His Word. So we are destined to do good works. If our, if our evidence is of faith, if our works in Christ is of faith, then it must produce something. The Bible says it is God who worketh in you, both to will and to do, of his good pleasure. The Bible says the life we now live as a son of God is the faith of Jesus Christ in us. So you have got to allow the things God say about you to be fulfilled in you. Allow God's divine destiny to be fulfilled in you. In your lifestyle, in your life. Allow it to work in you. The thing God says about you need to be done by you. It must be done by your faith in God. Mama can't do it for you. Papa can't do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the heart and the finish of your faith. So your call must be done by you. No one can do your work for you. Jesus already did as much as he could. Now you must put the finishing touch to it. Come on somebody. I said Jesus has already done what he did. Now you must put the finishing touch on it. Why? By living it. By living what he write about you. God gave every one of us a mandate to fulfill. It's all of our lives already done. So we got to live it now. Christ already did it for us. Now we got to walk in it. You can't say you're dead and still alive. If you're dead, you're dead. <laughs> God gave every one of us a, a manual or a manuscript to follow. God gave every one of us a formal order to follow. And we'll follow it by the leading of the Spirit. God gave you and God gave me instructions yes. on how, how he wants us to live. Yes. How we can be how we can be for him. Yes. God give all his children a commission yes. for the establishment of his kingdom. Yes. It's not about you. It's all about kingdom work. You are a representative of God's government. And you are more than a conqueror. You are supposed to go out and conquer. Because you are an ambassador for Christ. So your child of God is under a mandate. To be mandatory. The way of his kingdom to the world. We have to live a life showing the kingdom work. The kingdom come on earth. That is him. That's our duty now to walk in it. Oh God. They were talking to strangers. You, a child of God, is on a mandate. Go in the air for into all the world. And command. Go to the unsaved. And declare. 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, yes. Tell them who is the, the head of the government. Come on now. Tell them. The Bible, the psalm writer says, stand up, stand up for Jesus, right. stand in his strength alone. If you put yourself in it, you're in trouble. So we need to step out on God's command and do what is written in the manual. Too long you've been listening to what people say. Is not to go and read the manual for yourself. Get down on your knees and pray. And the Father, reveal your secret to me. You're doing it for everybody. Do it for me. You got to say, Lord, what is in line for me to do? Show it to me. It is time for all of us who is called by the name of Christians. Show up. Show what you are made of. Show what you got. Be strong in faith. And depend on the word of God. Because the word of God will deliver you. Whatever you say or ask. In Jesus name he promised to give it to you you got to depend on God by faith in him because faith brings rewards when you ask anything have faith in God use the God kind of faith to accomplish what your what your goal is depend and the word of God to go forth and make what you say possible. Amen. Amen. That's it. Depend yes. on God to make you not ashamed. Because his love, he placed in you as power to deliver whatever you ask for. He's yes, abiding me and ask what you will. Strong faith. Strong faith. Strong faith works. Yes, strong faith. Because strong faith is a God kind yes, of faith. Strong faith is the sort of our things all far. Strong faith is known by its works. Strong faith cannot fail. It refuses to come back. We don't accomplish what he set out to do. Strong faith. Strong faith is built up a strong foundation. Strong faith comes through God's word. When God's word is sent out by strong faith, it cannot come back empty handed. Oh, Jesus. Strong faith. I hope you are hearing me now. Do you hear me now? As a strong faith will result in your favor. Strong faith. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10 and 11. According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. And another build your rod. But let every man take heed or build your rod. For other foundation can no man lay that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. My God. Mm. Jesus said, Open this rock, I will build my church. The songwriter says, This rock is Jesus. He is the only one. So say, let our foundation be Christ, the solid rock. Christ, the unshakable rock. Christ, the unmovable rock. Christ, the uncomparable rock. Christ, the rock of ages. Christ, the unquenchable rock. Christ, the rock that is higher than you and I. Give God some praise. 
Strong faith brings strong future. You won't have no regrets when you stand on strong faith. Do not build on a future that is weak. You're going to regret it for the rest of your life. In hell. When the time comes for fulfillment, weak faith don't work. You don't want to build and when testing time comes, the foundation is missing. Because it melts away. Melts away under pressure. You don't want to be like that. Do not deceive yourself by building for another man's future for a foundation. Uh -oh. Don't try to live when you aren't. Live where you don't want it. Do not try to live where you don't want it. It will bring pain and agony. Oh God. It just brings troubles. Upon trouble. When you live somewhere where you're not wanted. To build a strong future, you need to build on Christ, the solid rock. There's no failure in Christ. To, to build on Christ as a rock is a win-win situation. Win -win the time. Praise the Lord. Win -win every time. Mm. All of the ground. There is no failure in God. To build on Christ is the right thing to do. And don't fool yourself. There is only one bridge. That can take you to heaven. Amen. Jesus is our bridge of troubled water. And there's no other. Praise the Lord, somebody. You know, over the years, I noticed a lot of people go to school and learn a trade that looks good. In the hand, they are being here unemployed. Sure. And some take a trade that don't look too good and they make a killing. Oh God. A lot of children go to college and come home <laughs> working for minimum wages because they chose the wrong way to live. Wrong profession. But God can make you become more than you think. You can. If you follow God's leading. So we are going to build on a solid foundation, Jesus Christ. If you are in Him and He's in you, you can ask what you will. And she will done unto you or given unto you. Because there is no other foundation laid but that of who Jesus is, Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is our solid foundation. A strong foundation. <laughs> and this foundation is strong with a strong cornerstone. This is a solid, Jesus Christ was solid foundation. And he is a strong cornerstone. Hey, any other, build your faith. And any other than him, you shall fear. But when you build upon Jesus Christ, the foundation, the cornerstone, you shall mount up with the wings like eagles. If you build your future on him, you shall walk and not faint. If your future is built on Jesus Christ, you shall run and not be weary. Because 
he shall renew your strength. And Thomas said, morning by morning, your mercy I see. Great is our faithfulness. Lord, you are great. Your faithfulness to me, to make me more than I can be. It's imminent. Listen, oh God. When God bless you, no man can curse you. So you're going to college. Keep Christ with you. Wherever you go, may Christ be there with you. Praise the Lord. Glory. You, you can't go wrong building your future on Jesus Christ. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You will find strength to get up. You will find strength to move over hurdles. God will give you strength to be all you can be. He shall give you strength to move from glory to glory. He shall give you strength to move from grace to grace. He shall give you strength to move from everlasting to everlasting. It will give you strength.